Hello, we're going to find out why the area of a circle is pi r squared. We'll show it visually. Now, as you know, with a circle, we have a radius, there it is, and we also have a circumference, which is the distance around the circle, and the circumference is pi d. Okay, now we're going to cut our circle up, although it's already cut up, and we're going to reassemble it taking the pieces and just reassembling them. La, 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 la. And it's starting to take a shape of sort of looks like a parallelogram. And we know the area of a parallelogram is found by doing base times height. So that's good to know. Now, there's the radius again. And I'm going to actually just cut one of those pieces and I'm putting it on the other side there so it looks more instead of just any old parallelogram would look more like a rectangle, which is also a parallelogram. So this is sort of a rectangle. And you know how to find the area of a rectangle. It's just base times height or length times width. So here's our circle again. There's the radius. There's the radius. So it looks like the height of our rectangle is r. And the bottom part there, the base, is actually 1 half c because it's 1 half the distance around the circle. Now remember c equals pi d, so 1 half c, that just equals 1 half pi d. And remember that d is the diameter, so 1 half of the diameter is the same as r. So let's just call the bottom part pi r instead of calling it 1 half c. Let's take a look at that again. So here's our rectangle. You find it by finding the area of base times height. The base in this case is pi r, and the height is r. So go ahead and multiply that. Pi r times r is simply pi r squared. Therefore, the area of a circle is pi r squared.